since you guys are in a couple, do you guys have friends of the opposite sex um, during your coupledom? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay, that's great. And so do you do you expect your female friends to be friends with your partner and vice versa? No, I think it would be cool, but if it doesn't happen, yeah, well, whatever. Uh, and, and, and it's really weird because I mostly have friends of the opposite sex and she does as well. So uh, I, don't, I don't see a conflict at all uh, on either side, really. Okay, okay. Are you guys friends with any of your exes? Yes. All of my exes, yes. <laughs> You guys are on another level of healthy. I love that. I love that. Okay. No, but I think I think the most important thing here is just understanding that um, there's this relationship and then there's other relationships and there's also the element of trust. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what, where, you know, we've had instances whereby probably we'll all go out and probably he's the only guy amongst maybe 13 girls. It's cool, you know, because there's the trust there already. You yeah. Know. So what I'm hearing is trust is important, communication is important, but what happens if there is an outside party or you are in a social setting like that and one of his friends, you see that maybe there's a young crush there on your man. How do you deal that? Are there boundaries uh, discussion set with him or do you handle the friend to be like, but now your lane is over there. <laughs> I think, I think it would be on, on me in that scenario yeah. to, to fix that in, in that moment because um, I, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it would be chivalrous for me to let uh, my partner handle that. In the end, uh, it's, it's uh, my duty to make sure that my relationships don't affect our relationship, sure. right? And, and vice versa. And vice versa. And so uh, I, I don't see a scenario where she would, I would see that she is visibly uncomfortable, for example, and I would not fix that. Ah, okay. All right. Um, so what would a friend that is outside of your relationship do that would trigger you to be like, yo, please handle your friend? If anybody who doesn't, um, first and foremost, just respect the fact that it's clearly stated out there that we're a couple. Yeah. So not respecting that boundary at all, yes, will call for probably such a scenario because, um, you know, for everybody to know it's already there, it's been there for a very long time. So if somebody doesn't realize that, we will help you realize it, you know, very easily. All right, guys, then be, be relaxed and, and just like have fun. So you already know what... <laughs> what we're talking about today i just want to know are are you, do you guys have uh friends of the opposite sex do you believe in platonic friendships yeah uh, a whole bunch like mixed social circles and separate social circles and people everywhere oh okay so that means you have female friends she has male friends some of her friends are your friends some of your friends are her friends yeah, is, is that an expectation do you, Demi, do you expect uh, your female friends to get along, or your male friends rather, to get along with Robin? Is it something you would prefer or want? Um, most of them actually do get along with Robin. Um, so that, yeah, it's, it's, it's always nice when, you know, everybody gets along and everybody can have, have, a, have a drink together. And yeah, so I don't think it's an expectation at this point. I think it's, it's just something that happens. Yeah, um, pretty consistently. Yeah. You are lucky. You are lucky. <laughs> we very lucky. Yeah. No, we definitely yeah. are. So Robin, same with you. Your female friends get along with D and it's all good yeah, in the wood. Um, across the board, everyone likes you. <laughs> yeah. mm. So have you guys had a situation where a friend, let's say a male friend of Demi's, was like maybe pushing a boundary and Robin, you saw that, okay, maybe this is something that I'm finding a little inappropriate. And I've, I've been in that corner, but um, none of that, none of that here. How did you handle it in that corner when it happened? Um, the first time I didn't handle it, this sort of just happened. And then it ended up being um, uh, that person cheated at the end of the day. 
Oh, so that you okay? I have a meme for this moment. Yo, I just I have a meme. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, has this happened to you, Dan? Not so much pushing boundaries for me. It's more, um, it's more, it more was a sharing of information that I just thought wasn't very appropriate. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's it's it. Everybody is different, and everybody has different boundaries. And and that was the one thing that I wasn't very comfortable with. Um, yeah. Okay. So okay. That's, are you friends? Are you guys any, uh, friends with any of your exes? No. No. Oh, I love I love that clear no, like just a solid yeah, yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're cool with your partners having friends of the opposite sex. Your friends are inter friends. Your is there is there an expectations for them to be friends? I mean, if one of your friends, Demi, your male friends, doesn't really get along with Robin, like they're cool, but they don't really like vibe. Are you okay with that? Um, I guess I would be like, I don't expect all my friends to be friends with Robin. We aren't all obligated to be friends with everyone. If, if to For be sure. Both, like, For sure. You don't have to click. That's, that's yeah. fine. You guys. We good. We fine. We good. <laughs> yes, we're right. Because it's about to get deep. I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> so do you guys believe in platonic friendships? Yes. <laughs> Why is Jay so enthusiastic? Yeah. But yes. uh, yeah. yeah, no, we do. Friends are friends. It's friends are friends. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have friends outside of your marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have boyfriends, and he also has a lot of girlfriends. I, I heard. I say this because it's been like this since high school. We actually met in high school, never, although never really dated from high school, but. I saw him from then, you know, he had a lot of girls around him. So that's always been the type of person he is. And yeah, I guess it was never going to change now that we're married or something like that. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. What is it that a friend outside of your relationship would do to either of the partners that would trigger you to be like, yo, your friend is overstepping? I got a story about that. You <laughs> ready? All right. So... <laughs> <laughs> it is a story, but yeah. so this this girl, right? They go out on Fridays or whatever. I do that with my friends and colleagues also. So the thing was, they came back late and I was okay with that. I met that girl that day. And she was fine. She was, you know, a little extra, but I'm a little extra too. So I was very welcoming. That was fine. So, uh, fast forward to a few weeks after that, I guess uh, she was just showing him that she was drinking or whatever, having drinks at home. So she happened to take a picture of the bottle that she was drinking, but she had her thighs <laughs> in the picture and a really, really short or skimpy <laughs> little dress. I could barely see anything. So I wasn't sure if they, she was even wearing anything there. But yeah, that was a big problem for me. But yeah, I did oh. mention it to him. For him, it was to basically tell her, look, uh, my wife doesn't really appreciate you sending me pictures like this. I was expecting for him to maybe, you know, like stand up for me, and which he did. But yeah, it's like, it's not right. You know, this person has a, you know, but don't do that. Don't show my man your thighs. No, it's too much. Lips, anything that uh, any of her male friends have done that have triggered you to be like, yo, man, like. <laughs> Mind me. There's nothing. Yeah, actually, I. Her friends are just friends. I think she's a, she's a bubbly person. She's a happy person. Uh, she likes to laugh. Mm -hmm. So I think they like her for that. You understand? So I think if you like her for that, it's all right. Mm -hmm. And if you don't make any moves, it's okay. You know? Mm. Okay. Like I said, friends are friends. There's no Pluto to it. It's just friends. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, okay. I, 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 can I, can I yeah, interject? Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think uh, it's a matter of women being, I don't know, uh, they have a border or a boundary or something like mm -hmm. that. It's you nipegega cool. Not nipegega cool. You are curious. You understand? Yeah. Mina, I promise you, if someone says, hey, love, and I see it on her phone, I, I, I wouldn't think too much of it. But if she sees that on my phone, I understand. Yeah, yeah, it's a problem. I'm gonna check that so, out. So I mean, 
I mean, I feel like it's a matter of trust. Mm-hmm. So I trust you not to uh, whatever with those friends of yours. So that's it. So he says this a lot. He mm-hmm. says, I must basically trust him and not uh, be, I don't know, thrown off by what other people are doing or what other people are saying or sending him or whatever. But I, for me, it's just, you need to draw a line. They need to know that they cannot send you things like this. And can I, can I add something? I yeah. personally, oh, hey. I personally think that people, no offense, they would say things like, babe, you need to trust me or babe, why mm. you your, I think it's a cop out. I think it's an excuse because I think the responsibility is on you to define your friendship and make sure your friend mm-hmm. get okay. into the sacred space. So if I find something on your phone and it doesn't sit well with me, don't throw insecure, mm-hmm. don't throw trust at me. Just mm-hmm. and uh, another excuse that they love to say is, but my friend was here before you. Like mm-hmm. I don't care. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's not an excuse. Mm-hmm. I understand. But I always say so that these things don't bother you. You can ask, well, what's happening here? You know okay. And I'll explain. I so, 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 so. I, I don't like that. Okay, my love. You know but to keep you, you know, sane inside, just yeah. remember. <laughs> you, <know what> <laughs> you just need to trust. You'll be all right. And so, mm-hmm. obviously, I'm not saying, okay, whenever something like that comes up, I'll say, I know. Oh, I've been secure. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, said, no, you're going to ask. I'm going to say, okay, yes. No, Gwenzaba. So in, in, I have to explain. So if I don't explain, I mean, I see that as a problem. No, but, 100%. Mm-hmm. Like what, what I was getting at, and I'm not saying to you, I was saying people are generally dismissive and they throw that mm-hmm. word around and those words. So I, I, yes, I'm, I'm glad you explained. You're in good hands. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and uh, oh, understand when when we get to to that point where now I tell you about okay no you, you need to trust me it's way after we've had this conversation and you are so secure or so happy or something like that mm-hmm. and it's a simple reminder but you know remember trust you know, let's trust agree you know. also guys that trust is earned it's not a blind yes. we are not children mm-hmm. you can't just tell me there's a Santa and I'm a trust. <laughs> It's earned. So, mm. all right, Sky. And I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. That's that's all I had. Taking time for this um, subject. I wanted to say tricky subject, but then I thought, it's y'all. It ain't tricky. So, <laughs> it's fine. So, do you guys believe that girls and boys can be friends and purely friends? Yes. No. <laughs> well, personally, I think yes. I will go with yes because I've had a good experience so far. Okay. Uh, like, you yes or no? Uh, yes or no in a, in, in, in a matter that uh, it depends. If I first see you as somebody that I want to date and then we become friends, it's still going to be difficult for me to not see you as somebody I want to fuck. Hmm. Thank you. You are the first person who's actually said this. I've constantly had to raise the fact that sometimes um, it matters the intention of the friendship at the beginning, how you meet. What was my intention coming sure. into the friendship? Because sometimes I come in and then I'm like, hey, hey, and then I get bumpy sad and then I'm friend zoned. But at the back of my mind, I'm just like, right. I'm waiting. Just <laughs> wait one. Thank you. Know? I do have female friends, although the number has gone down drastically from around the hundreds, mm-hmm. uh, close to the thousands, to now <laughs> five, four. Maybe two. Maybe two. Yeah. Maybe two yeah. <laughs> How's what happened? Mm-hmm. What's changed? Uh, a, a lot of things change because once you start being in a relationship, then... so, okay, let me put it this way. You know, as a woman, you get used to being treated in a certain way by a certain someone. True. Even if you don't want to date that person, but because you're used to that person treating you that way, it's to you, it's like, it's fine, I live my life. But as soon as that person changes the way they treat you, because they're now focusing that attention to somebody else, it becomes a problem to you. Even if you are just friends, it will still be a problem 
to you. And this is especially for ladies. It becomes a problem. I don't know why. I think it's the entitlement that I personally have a problem with to say that once you're in a relationship, obviously, automatically, it changes everything. It changes yeah. everything because you are no longer a priority and therefore you need to understand that somebody might come first and there's certain things that you might be used to benefiting from the friendship that you can no longer find easily accessible. And now instead of your friendship being one-sided, it has to now be two-sided because there's another person to consider, including uh-huh. how you behave around your friends, your yeah. expectation. Yeah. And you just need to know, period, that people have a life outside of your friendship to be quite frank, because... Yes, yes. Lindy raised this yesterday where she said that um, she's cool with her boyfriend having uh, female friends, but she was just like, a simple example, if we're if we're chilling all together, you're visiting him, we're chilling at the house and you want to sleep over, cool, but you're not going to drive my man's car and you're not sitting in the front of my man's car. Like, that's a no-no. And yes. I laughed about the whole struggle of the front like, seat. But is the front seat thing still a thing? Yeah, apparently... With front seat. No, with friendship, it's non-negotiable, girl. Or go booting if there's room. Like, no. Come around, girl. Come around. Yeah, she, she said that, and I thought, okay, this is this is interesting. I think. Uh, take on that in a matter in a way that if she is with her friend and I'm with them, I take the back seat. But if I'm with my friend, she takes the back seat. And it will depend also. Amelia, you want to elaborate on why your friends get priority and some of us get shoved to the back? No, Because no, 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 no. you my friend now. I stole yeah. you. Like, now you are our friend. <laughs> no, you no, know? No, no. And I don't need permission. You are my friend, whether you like it or not. I know. <laughs> all right, all right. So what has any of your other gendered friends done to you that, that had your spidey senses up, that made you be like, yo, fam? Mm. So basically, like you had a friend, very close friend. I'm not here. And I'm not here. <laughs> so I'm guessing she felt that we were friends, but I hadn't known her that well or even okay. given myself an opportunity to get to know her. So this one time she came into our home and she started asking me questions like, um, why don't I ever take her phone call? So then when I told her, I'm like, well, it's because you and I aren't really friends. So I always assume that when you call, you actually want to talk to Lucky. Yes. And she flipped out. Like she, y'all guys, <laughs> like she literally, I'm sure if she could choke somebody to death and there were no consequences, like we'd be having a whole day. different conversation. I would be an ancestor right now, an angel somewhere. Like, Why a good question. The door? Okay. I, I'm also still asking the same question. Because guys, friendship is not something that, hi, we just friends, you know, it's deeper than that. It's friendship, it's rooted, it's organic. It needs to happen naturally. You can't force people to be your friends or you can't put in a friendship request like hi buddy can we be friends like let it happen gradually get to know me let me understand your character traits and the less the merrier contrary to popular belief the less the merrier here's another thing another example uh where when your partner gets along with your friend it's for instance we have we have date nights well not date nights but movie nights where as friends we go out and watch movies now it means I can bring her as well. And now we become, I get to spend time with you and her doing or showing her side of me that she hasn't a, a been able to see. Right. Because half the time when we are in relationships, we spend most of the, of the time trying to please the other person. Put it end up put forward. <laughs> you end up kind of losing yourself. So yeah. when you still have friends you still have those people that kind of pull you closer to who you still are they keep you grounded basically 